Right, so we have our new player joining us, Zach. His actual character will show up at some point for the time being. He is being represented by the Laughing God. The mystical clown. <laughs> who sees and knows all and laughs. Don't tell him that. Yeah, I'm laughing at Simon's face right now. And where we left off, uh, you'd heard that there were issues in the mines after you'd already gone down yourselves and found that the undead were breaking in. And you warned the dwarves that the undead were entering the mines. So they sent a number of teams to go and root through them and try and find them. One of the teams had not reported back and you volunteered to go and find them. And you did. And they were dead. Typical. <laughs> not only were they dead, but there were extra dead killing them a veritable horde of zombies as well as the earth eater that you slew some time ago seems to have been raised from the dead nonetheless you managed to overcome the odds you took out what you're assuming is the necromancer that was controlling the horde causing them all to deanimate there are still a handful of enemies however that remain and primarily, Xenophia seems to have encountered somebody new. We hate new people. Get him! New is bad. So picking up where we left off, Allie's turn. And the, uh, the new person had declared themselves as enemy. He didn't, de he didn't declare himself an enemy. He said he declared that Xenophia was okay. choosing to be his enemy. He never declared himself an enemy. He asked whose side she was on. And she said against him. I think she said she's on nature's side. And she said against the undead. Oh, I guess I wasn't listening to when she was talking. She said she was on the side of nature, but against the dead. So he shrugged and said that that means that he has to kill her. Ellie wants to get to Titus. Where did Titus go? No, right next to her. He's under the... Oh, yep. Wow. Oh, Zach, you bitch. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> he is laughing at everything. So... Well, Allie's just going to stay here because she doesn't exactly see the fight going on on the other side of this massive corpse anyway. I yell. Well, then we shall make a perception roll. Allie does hear that you appear to be fighting, but she turns and looks to Titus first to see what he thinks. Back, <laughs> thank you. We have to assist her ally. Please. On. Charge the melee. Or, well, you know, whatever one can do with this giant worm curves in the way. Allie proceeds to climb over the worm, but it takes her entire turn to get to the other side. This man is dead. Worm is dead. Beck. Except the clown. The clown is not actually there. I can see it, Joe, is there. <laughs> is the game lagging for anyone else? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. Not for me, but nothing's really moving on my screen. Mine's, mine's been lagging ever so slightly. And I was playing around earlier. It's literally the maps that have dynamic lighting that are causing me to lag. Oh, can. What was this map causing to lag last time? Oh, well, I think it's how many tokens there are that are... It's trying to keep track of the vision of every token. Because as the, as the DM, yeah, I... see spread out. Yeah. Well, not only that, as the DM, I see... I, I had the vision perspective from every single token constantly up. All right. Well, Edsley, you better have fun with that one. I'm off to find my own. Oh, I will. Titus. Mm. <laughs> Is there any? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody to play with around here? Uh, it seems all uh, written in druid keys helped down there behind the worm. Oh. Holy crap, all the status effects on him. <laughs> Joe's finally getting off all those touch spells he wanted to do. So Joe, how long, how far? How far? I don't know, it's like a long. How, how much distance would that be to get across the worm there? Worm counts as difficult terrain, crawling over the corpse. Okay, so um, this terrain does what? Double movement for each square. So that's five. Chomp it. And this counts as the worm right there. Uh, I'd say you'd be allowed to squeeze through there, that square. 20. 30. 
I dash up there, take my stabs. That is your turn. I look at the... Is he actually fair-haired looking like that? Yes, that is what he looks like. But he's wearing full plate. Well, pretty boy. Be you friend or foe? He uh, turns around and looks at you. That depends. What side are you on? I happen to be on the side that the master tells me. And who is your master? Titus Valerius. Never heard of him. Oh, well then. That could be a problem. <laughs> Just kick his ass already. <laughs> is, he, is he someone of renown? Uh, he's more of a boy right now still. You serve a boy. Uh, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I'll kick your ass while I'm at him. <laughs> <laughs> I unfortunately have a debt <laughs> to pay. But I think so I can act like. Repaying debts is something I understand. You seem like an honorable warrior. I am Sir Ismark Belasco, Knight of Prague. I don't think I've ever heard of Prague. It is a long to the east. <clears throat> a poor country. Many overlook it. Hey, And I guess, what be your business here? With all these corpses? Simply a means to an end. There is something here in this dwarven city. Something that we need to get. Something that they probably don't even know is here. It wouldn't have to, to be a book now, would it? There is a possibility, but I'm fairly certain there is much more than just a book. Well, well alrighty. I'm going to say that's your turn, which a similar looking female, not it, not armored, but uh, equally pale looking, and unlike uh, Ismark, you notice that she seemingly almost glows from within with an eerie light that shows through primarily her eyes and backlights her ribcage and skeletal structure. That's creepy. Cool. <laughs> you don't want to with Sam. And as she steps forward, she calls out, And what do we have here, brother? To which he then points to the giant turtle and says, This appears to be an elf that stands against us. It should be noted that the entire time there is like a combat going and he's just like sidestepping the turtle every time it tries to snap out at him. And then he points, And this appears to be a... I'm assuming Norskin warrior. Aye. And to which the uh, sister just kind of goes, huh, and proceeds to stand and watch. Very impressive. Etsli, you see this white come running at you, sword ready. All right. He runs up and he lashes out, trying to stab you with his long sword. But as he does, he manages to go... Oh, the, a little too far with it, and you essentially sidestep, and he goes completely past you with it. Huh. I'm not impressed. He looks back at you. You got lucky. Whatever you say. Titus. I apply the kinking sides. I get the hell out of me. And then I use for the goodbye. The diamond you have, you pull it out, and you hold it, and you place a hand upon her. You say the the prayer, and the diamond turns to ash in your hands, and suddenly Kuhn Kuhn is breathing again. God. Cradle in my arms and then use the, the uh, aura of vitality to heal her. If the diamond on her, I could've done it. Yeah. We're done with this fight, Andre. Uh, Cause you have to use a diamond anyway. Yeah, it's five higher. Uh-huh. Well, I'm assuming that heals her to full. Yeah. If I... Oh, yeah. No, no, he used his, his healing. Yeah, it's a uh, 2d6. Yeah. Oh, there's a well, chance. Does that require an action? Uh, bonus action. All right, well then. Yeah, she's she's fine. Is that your turn then? Uh, where was that? It was right here, so... No, actually, I am going to stay with her. Where I got clown. All right, um... Does she need to roll initiative again, or are you... Well, she goes on your initiative, because I forgot last time. She's a slave. She goes on your initiative. Oh, so can I have her do something then? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. First, I will 
And then I would step back a bit. And then I would come down here. That is your turn? Yep. All right. Sarah moves a little bit closer towards Etsley, but she seems hesitant to get close enough to be involved in the combat. Good, because this one's mine. It is your go, Etsley. I'm going to shoot it. Uh -huh. Let's see. I'm going to use my sharpshooter. Kneecap, kneecap, please. Because I don't like this guy. Ooh, 11. This may be the night that you suck. Shut up. Yeah, he sees you raising your pistol, and he manages to sidestep, get out of the way, and you fire and hitting the wall behind him. Uh, shoot again. 12. He continues to dodge your attacks. <laughs> oh, and a bonus action shot. You better be worth it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm guessing that one hits. Thinking, yep. Roll your damage. <laughs> Oh, wait. You, you saw uh, the bursting arrow on. Yep, yeah, I saw the bursting arrow on. So it would only be 22 damage. Yes, 22. Nonetheless, <laughs> gonna break it too. you fire your shot, <clears throat> you fire your second shot, and he dodges between both. So finally, as he's... He, uh, he ducked beneath your second shot. As he's standing back up, you jam the barrel of the pistol into his mouth and unload the trigger, causing the back of his skull to splatter against the wall. <laughs> well, ew. Just gonna slightly rub the... Uh front of my gun off on my leg just you know, shaking it off like <laughs> I knew it and I'm gonna move step over his corpse oh wow well, okay there's some like yes well, that'll be my turn yeah, I'm not seeing anything over here let's <laughs> click this us back to say is has been quite patiently making sure not to take any strikes from the giant turtle <laughs> nonetheless he decides it is time for him to strike out. So he turns once more away from Thorkel and stabs at the giant turtle, dealing 13 slashing damage. He then pulls the blade free and proceeds to hack at it some more, dealing another nine slashing. Brings it back to you, Zenafia. I'm gonna bite it. Him, I mean, because I didn't like him. You hit, you take a chunk out of his, even through his armor, you manage to pierce it with your snapping turtle, almost beak-like jaw, and you see the barest hint of blood pour from the armor. However, the spiritual weapon completely misses him. Hold on. And then... Oh, yeah. Oh, well. No. Okay. So, she's done. Not done. Wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, well, yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm indecisive. In response to that, he uh, reaches out. He lets go of his large sword with one of his hands and reaches out to try and claw at you. Who does? Sa Ismark. It's not his turn. I know. Darn you, Joe. Darn you to heck. And he manages to sink his long fingers into the flesh around your throat. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Ellie. That's it. He didn't cause any damage. He just has his fingers in my throat. He grappled you. Ellie was told to get involved in the combat. So she does. Oh, yeah. Is this all mud still? Yes, that is all still mud. Okay. Is that a position or advantage for her or no? Um, no it's from the center, oh, right? So Yeah. So she does not have advantage. Her first swing gets completely deflected by his greatsword, and her second one is no better, as he simply flicks his wrist and sends her blow away. Back. Yeah. Can I go right there, Joe? Yeah, you can stand over a corpse. Wait, can I see him? Oh, I can just sit here and watch. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and watch. A little bit longer. Oh, can. No. I'm gonna move over by Beck and also watch. They're all jerks. I don't speak turtle. I'm not even sure what noise it would make. More like a hissing. Turtle yeah. hit, it's yeah, terrifying. They, they <laughs> the, uh, you see one of these very fancy looking dressed guards step up and seemingly raise their, what appears to be a musket at Alley. But uh, as they do, 
the sister holds out her hand and puts it on top of the musket and he lowers his weapon. He is dead. Titus. I'm going to expend 30 points of my land hands on myself. Inside, not looking great. Yeah, buddy, you're always looking great. <laughs> Can I always expect that to come from a cool dude like yourself? God, I'm going to kiss ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll use a bonus action for an additional five. And as such, we'll move closer. And that's what the hell's going on over here. You're not undead. Uh, in response to that, without letting go of the giant snapping turtle's throat, Sir Ismark just kind of looks halfway over his shoulder. It looks can be deceiving. Um, is he able to occupy that same space as the spiritual weapon? Yeah, the spiritual weapon is a... Okay. I have to know quite a bit about that. Regardless, saves you have my friend in a predicament there. Do you mind clearing off? He, uh, kind of squeezes a little harder into the throat and says, This one is with you. They're all with me. Well, it would seem that your elf friend has made the poor decision of placing herself against me. And what is your purpose? I am here to help recover something. But you cannot do that in peace? You seem skilled? Generally, no. My people are not well received. Because he's a vampire. You can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. And this thing you see, it would cost the lives of all the doors within this casa? It would cost the lives of many more if it's not recovered and dealt with properly. So what you're saying is, this bloodshed has never been necessary. If they would give it up peacefully. If. If they would not, the bloodshed is absolutely necessary. Then I suppose I understand the predicament. In order to save lives, I would ask that you give us a chance to secure what you're looking for. He looks back over to his sister. She kind of looks past him at you. And eventually she nods. She didn't know it was a sister. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Literally, the first thing she did when she walked in is she asked, what is happening, brother? But uh, as she nods, he releases his grip on Xenophia. You're more amicable, uh, amicable than previous emissar- adversaries, I thought. And it would depend on where these emissaries were from. Uh, adversaries, I said. But... Oh, I thought you said emissaries. Yeah. Bad. That's fine. Regardless, what is it you seek? There is forbidden knowledge and dark magic that is hidden within this mountain. If it falls into the wrong hands, it could be misused. And what would you do with this knowledge? Make sure that it is not used by those who would abuse it. Then I suppose I can't see any reason for you not to have it. Allie starts to look really confused. Are we not killing them? Killing them here would only be for a continued war. And there is much yet for us to do. So, if we can end this invasion, then I'm all for it. Very good. It would mean that we do not have to waste our resources trying to break the doors of the city. If you would be so kind as to lead the way, and he gestures past you. I cannot promise we can take it. I will speak to the dogs. You are welcome to come with. Though, if they bar you away, I, then I suppose I can not bring you with. However, you have my word and my honor as a son of the Valerians that if we are not able to take it, then I will inform you, and I suppose we have done all we can. And the war will undoubtedly resume. They both just kind of nod somewhat and wait for you to lead the way into the city. In which case, Tally Ho! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I am over here, surrounded by nothing. 
but dead bodies <laughs> that I have killed. <laughs> everybody just starts like marching back out. As soon as like, oh, there was nothing this way. Comes back over and just sees everybody walking out and two new two or four more people now marching with the party. and a giant turtle. Well, I mean, I think he can he can figure that out. I feel like I have, will have gotten used to you know Zenafia's, you know, turning Red. into animals. Red. Red. Yes. Who are they? So now, some of them guests. Oh, guests. We should treat them with respect. Okay. In which case, I will gather the party to the entrance of the mines. Ah, we can pick up that one dwarf. He hasn't been dead too long. If someone wants to, if if someone wants to use the diamonds for it, meh, meh. He died. I no longer battle. have. I no longer have diamonds. I feel like the dwarven people would compensate us for the diamond if, if we brought him back. No, probably. I would bring him yeah. back. That's up to back. Yeah. Uh, minute. It's been. Uh, yeah, it's been over a minute with all the uh, chatting that's been happening. Can't really do that. But you thought you didn't have the raised dead? I do, but I need a 500 diamond. That's we had the same amount of diamonds that I same diamonds that I had. Yeah, that's who I split them with. If Etsley would be so kind. <sighs> I'll pull out one of my diamonds. Show me. I'm just a very big kobold, you know. <laughs> you guys don't know that. It's like, I, I'm not a dragonborn. I'm just a giant kobold. <laughs> you don't have a tail. Or half a nose. <laughs> I do have half a nose. <laughs> so you hand your diamond over to Beck. Still, you speak the prayer, perform, perform the ritual. Uh, the two siblings that have accompanied you kind of stand, just watch. And after an hour, nothing happens. What? Is he not dead? Oh, he's very much so dead. His soul was killed off. Or he doesn't want to leave the afterlife. Oh, if that doesn't pay, they have to be willing. Yes. Yeah. The soul must be willing to come back. I wasted times. No. Yeah. yeah. But the diamond is not consumed, so. I'm gonna cry it back. The <laughs> spell was not fully cast. Put it yeah, back. It hits you for taking the risk. Anyways, let's be a Forbes. You head back and reach the mine entrance. And uh, you are once again greeted by the guards and the seeming head, that was the head guard. And as you start to walk through, they go, oh, did you find the missing patrol that we sent down? Unfortunately, most of them were wiped off by the undead by the time we arrived. There was one survivor, but got caught in a large blast. We tried to bring him back, but he was not really. Wait a minute. Who is this? They are not with you when you set out. And he points to the four newcomers. It would appear they have some importance among the other, uh, amongst the enemy forces. And they wish to broker a peace. So they came through the tunnels in our mind, trying to break. Into the castle. The original I... intent was to find and crush, but only for only for the reason to seek out an object or something that they desire. So they want to steal from the dwarven city. <laughs> they wish to offer an exchange. And when you say that, uh, Israel goes, "We offer no such exchange. An exchange for the knowledge you seek lies." Helps this time, I swear. You see, uh, his sister just kind of shrug. The the dwarf kind of narrows his eyes. Many lives have already been lost, and many more will continue to be lost. I know there is pain amongst the castar, pain that will never quite heal. But she would ask more of it. He just stares for a while and eventually says, This is something to be sided by someone of higher position. Yeah, I thought he see it to level headed missiles. If you will not allow them to come with us, then I suppose 
they can remain here outside barricades. I shall send a detachment of guards with you. But I appreciate You should bring them straight to the Great Hall. I appreciate it. And with that, we will take our leave. Once the guards assemble. So, you guys enter the Great Hall once more. The Tsarina is still here, as is the one living member of the council, and your big furry friend, Gansuk. Gansuk! Uh, well, hang on, before you run up there. I want to give him a big hug in my turtle form. <laughs> the, uh, there are two strangers in the Great Hall. Uh, one of them appears to be, uh, actually, Titus, make a history check at advantage. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Rolls one. Stand down! Well, wow, that was anticlimactic. You recognize, I mean, you've, you've seen, like, depictions and heard the stories. This appears to be one of the Templars. Wait, but, hold on. Bad boy time. Previous man. Let me just say I'm a big fan. <laughs> Can I your autograph? <laughs> I'll give him the Imperial salute. He, uh, sees it, returns it. And then I'll, I zap him, he dies. And standing next to him appears to be a very interesting looking cleric, perhaps. Depending, I mean, I don't know how your character's dressed, so. He looks dark anime boy. <laughs> Lots of family <laughs> issues. <laughs> I, I thought Sam was a master of <laughs> Sausage isn't here anymore. <laughs> Come back to the village! Oh, oh, Wait. Um. <laughs> I had, like, can I have, like, counterpoint or something? <laughs> but anyways, uh, yes, you enter, and you've got- I'm quite... cold against your just cause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you are followed by quite the detachment of dwarven guards surrounding your guests. And the Zarina sees you enter and asks, what do you have there? What do you? What news do you bring now, Master Valerius? In our investigation of the mines, as you recall, I believe the guards had informed you. Or... Yes, and it seems that something has followed you back. Yes, we went back down again to help clear the mines. We came upon a patrol that was all but decimated. These fine people, as one might call them. She raises an eyebrow are important amongst the enemy forces. So you brought us prisoners of war? Well, to be precise, in the midst of our battle, they remained amenable. His march he crosses his arms. And in the, uh, the uh, I don't remember what to call it, but in the pursuit of peace, uh, they had terms to offer. In exchange for ending this war and withdrawing from the Khazar, Swearing the lies within, they seek a knowledge hidden within the, these, these walls that they would. Mid sentence, the... you suddenly realize that Ismarak is standing next to you. Mm. And all the dwarves look very shocked. Gansuk kind of widens his eyes a little bit. I'm not really shocked by it. Let's see. And the, the Templar puts his hand upon his sword. You're making a number of promises. Sir Titus, none of which I recall speaking of. He has a tendency of doing that. If there was an issue, then I suppose that I suppose I did not quite understand the context. Or maybe you had just had mine. I simply said that I wanted the dwarves to stop wasting my resources so that I could simply come in and get what I needed to be here for. And I spoke of leaving this in peace. You're treating it like... You, you fail to understand, Titus. I'm not planning on marching my army away. I just want them to stop killing. <sighs> and I suppose all this would for naught. If there is no peace to be had, then reluctantly I cannot help you. Though, on my honor, I would see you returned unhindered. As you say that, uh, the Tsarina responds, you believe that we are just going to allow two of the 
supposedly leaders of the enemy army to just walk back out of the castle. I suppose you are allowed to do as you wish. This is not my jurisdiction, as one might put it. However, you assumed much, considering that you came in spoken, speaking for them. You would try to make terms for the enemy army. <laughs> that, I don't actually know. I'm just kind of like... Really stuck your foot in the earth this time. <laughs> you know, I guess uh, in the context that I was listening to, I suppose I did not quite pick up on the, the differences between my way of thinking and theirs. Um, it would appear so, I suppose. The Tsarina looks to the sole remaining member of the council, Petrovna, and she says, Do you agree with me? You are the one that was technically has authority within the Kassar. And he looks back and says, Yes, they are, at the very least, high-ranking members of this undead army that threatens us. We cannot allow them to leave. And then Gansuk shouts, Yes, you are my opinion. We shall just kill them now. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is given my word. If you are to do this, I can have no part in it. Also, in response to Gansuk's comment, you see uh, Sir Ismark smile and just kind of respond. Many have tried. I would not be against adding another to the list of those who failed. So, are you choosing not to intervene? I've given my word. I can't break that. Not as a paladin. Of course, it is my only word. It is only my word. It is not binding the rest of my party. But I spoke only of myself. Is anyone else going to say anything or intervene? Otherwise, the dwarves intend at the very least take these two prisoner. Why Kyun Kyun? No, no. The, the... Oh. As well as their two guards that were with them. Well. I'm going to attach still. I'm kind of on the side of the dwarves on this one. Yeah. I'd like to see him dead, but I will follow Titus's yeah, I guess. wishes for now. Hey. Yeah, the doors are going to get absolutely slaughtered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody got any popcorn? It is at this point, the uh, two step forward and, you know, they, they're relatively passively, seemingly bringing themselves before the Zarina and her two advisors when as quickly as you can barely see the sister of the two is suddenly in front of the council member and you notice that uh, her sleeve is turned red and as you look closer you realize that she has her entire forearm through his chest Ugh. now I gotta kill her the dwarven guards are trying to run past you all and shove through you guys to get to them. Like hell they are. What is Titus doing? Nobody better hurt Gunsuk. Well, in response to that, Gunsuk and Sir Ismark are already embroiled in combat. And it is quite clear that Gunsuk is losing this. I want to run in and help him. But I thought you were going to follow Titus. Screw Titus. Are we going to roll some new initiative? I am. Damn it. Well, hang on. I haven't, I haven't cleared it. Oh, I'm out there. Uh-oh. Okay, that was a sh- sucky roll anyways. Back, get back there. No one gets to move until their turn. What the heck, Sanafia? I want to trade. Uh, no, I'm pretty good. Oh, why, why did I have advantage on that? Hold on a second. Ooh, but it didn't give me advantage. So you're, you're breaking your word and getting involved then? I have... Breaker. I'm, I don't know. I'm in inner turmoil right now. Watching this happen isn't necessarily something I can do either. But <laughs> so basically, they've said they they want to take something out of the dwarven city and still attack it. Hey, eh? no. They said they they said they weren't going to have their army leave. They just weren't going to be fighting. It would be essentially an occupation, which the doors wouldn't stand for either. But why? Because that's what you do when you invade. Yeah. Raise the city or take it over. They're essentially offering the dwarves a chance to, uh, you can stop fighting and just lay down your arms and surrender, and we'll take what we want. 
Titus misconstrued it as if they get what they want, they'll leave. Which is partially true, but it's still a sense. It's it's not the sense of, you know, we're just walking away, you know, accepting our differences. It's no, they're they're telling the dwarves to submit. Which dwarves do not. Is there no way to make in a bargain? No, it's live or die trying. And that depends entirely on what that bargain would be. But you're literally talking to dwarves that have seen a whole lot of their own kin die to this army, and then the supposed leaders of the army just kind of walked in and went, Good initiative, Thorkel. No, quit fighting. Stop fighting and let us take over. Is a vampire considered undead? Yes. Absolutely. It's okay. If all goes according to plan, I plan to make him fully dead. Which, it probably won't go according to plan, because nothing ever does. But who knows? Usually when I say something, it happens. Just like last time, you know, last session, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty good at investigating. Crit. And Allie still needs oh. to be up there. Oh, yep, and Sarah. <laughs> Where is she? Books. <laughs> I got mad at Kel. <laughs> Dead last. What else is true? True. And I mean, obviously, Xenafia goes first. She doesn't leave with that high of a bonus. She just always rolls high. I hate my life. Yeah, she, most of the time she's, what, 19 and 21? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's always, you know, top of the board. At least within the first three. She's only got an addition modifier plus three. You have a higher modifier that... Like, half of you have better mod- Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well that th th half? Th th no. Think th okay, it's just heads up. Hey, <laughs> yeah, okay, how do I get back to seeing my stats? Off of this. What do you mean by seeing your stats? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. Sorry, I, I was trying to get back to the other screen. There we go. All right. Figured it out. So you guys fighting these two guys in the middle of the room? Then? Yeah. Douche one, douche two. Everybody else is. I, I'm waiting to see what Titus does. Well, Titus did a dumb, so I'm just, I'm fighting the bad guys. <laughs> the sister goes first. She already went. She killed a dude. Yeah. That was out of initiative. Yeah. yeah. You know your rules are stupid. He, he's the mother. That's the life. <laughs> this is stupid. There's a difference between what's happening narratively and what's happening like combat. So she goes forward. Mm. Like this. <laughs> and she pulls forth a rapier <laughs> as the blood of Petrovna continues to dribble down her arm. Did we not think to, you know, ask them to surrender their weapons before? No, nobody said anything about that. <laughs> Just thinking about it now, it's like, yeah, you know, that probably would have been a smart idea. Titus. They are our guests. Mm -hmm. okay. But, uh, yes. She pulls off a rapier and proceeds to engage the Tsarina, but only manages to land one blow despite her swift on barrage of attacks. Zipdanafia. Touch. Myself. I'm gonna touch myself. It's my action. Via is going to... Cast another spiritual weapon. Crit! They, you can't cast two level of spells. Uh, she's gonna go up and smack him. About that. I mean, at least the one did good. Mm -hmm. She brings out her mace and tries to go for an overhead swing. And Ismark literally, without even looking back, catches the head of the mace in his hand and just rips it from her and tosses it on the floor. <laughs> right there. 100, damn it. Is that enough? Fight? Sorry, I'm looking at my spells and it won't again. Oops, sorry. My calf, my spells I picked in here, all that shit that kept popping up is back on my stove again. She manages to lend a blow against the sister, but she seems almost unbothered by the attack. One of the guards raises his gun and fires it point blank into the dwarf next to him. He hits him and proceeds to blow him away as 
the seemingly rather high quality weapon completely penetrates the armor at such close range. Sarah tells Etsy that he should leave. Ah, of course she does. <laughs> it's just getting interesting. God's woman. Gotta be the most cowardly of all. I really don't think that these are people that we should be fighting. I, I hate it break it to you, but they might be a little out of your league. What better way to test your strength than a strong opponent? She face palms. I... I slap Etsy on the back. <laughs> to the death. Don't touch. <laughs> Don't Dwarven. touch. Dwarven guard attacks. And he crit. Oh, damn. Would have been a good crit. Etsy. You guys fighting? I don't see nothing. Mm. Mm? This guy, this guy, this guy, and this woman. I know, but I don't see you. Like, you guys are talking about crit and C and stuff. I'm not seeing you either. Oh, you need to hit your chat bubble. The furthest, most left on the top right there in your bar. Okay. And then on the right there, you should see all these numbers and rolls. Um, let's see. I shall... I actually don't see nothing. I'm coming. Do I go oh, for I them? I Do I go oh. for them? No, oh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot at these guards back here. At Which this one? one? This one right here that just killed that dwarf. All right, open fire. I'm gonna use sharpshooter. Come on. No, oh, <laughs> damn. You're trying real hard not to hit anyone else that's in the way. And your shot means I, doesn't hit him. Means I rolled a three there. Yeah, he's had a lot of shot. modifiers. There we go. I do have a lot of modifiers. You're more careful this time, and you manage to aim between everyone, and you get one to lodge into him. Twenty-four. You see him stagger from the blow, and he looks up and sees where it came from and eyes you. I look at him. Bit. I'm gonna wink and shoot again. As your shot fires, he ducks, and it goes over his head. Count that as a warning. Is that your turn? Yep, and then I'll be right back. Titus! He's coming back. Wait, are you guys in the same house? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I draw my blade and speak these words. I hate that I might soil my family name here, but they made a vow to protect the innocent. And if they die, many more will die with them. Now he's good. You have advantage. Oh, the What are the odds? What are the odds? Oh, yes. Spite, spite, spite. One of those is a two. Well, that sucked. Then. Yes, I will use Divine Smite. They are undead. Get that extra 10 there from the Great Weapon Master. So, 21, 28. No, I rolled once. 26. Then 36. Then 55. All right. You strike a rather heavy blow into his back. And you actually hear him cry out in pain for the first time. And hit him again. <laughs> Uh, 17. This time he turns and brings up his great sword to block you. Then, uh, go again. Ah, oh, 860. I had the bonus action from the, uh, getting crit strike. That's all my attacks then. All right. As you finish that, he reaches out and tries to grab you. Tickle, tickle. And he does so, sinking his claws. You, you just barely feel the tips of his unnaturally sharp nails as he grabs you essentially <laughs> through the collar of your armor. There was a strained voice, a smile at him, and I was like, I felt harder. Oh, it. oh God, no, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> These dwarves are consistent, but consistency is not good enough. <laughs> yes, they're not, at least they're not as consistent as me. Nonetheless, Gunsuk tries to take advantage of Titus distracting Sir Ismark. Yeah! And he stabs at him. 
Does taking damage stop his grapple, or does it? Nope. Okay. Another guard. He's dead. Discard. <clears throat> Still not good enough. These, their guards appear to be equipped with quite high quality armor. Then we'll take it. Jesus. And the last guard. Fail. Alucard. All right, walk up to the person you want to hit. All right. Then. Well, uh... <laughs> or unless you didn't want to use melee, then you can mm -hmm. have a spell that you within range. But you should. Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to use a spell. <laughs> well, then go back. Go. You can go back. I, I'm not much of a spellcaster. I didn't think about it when I said something. So I go to that uh, stat or ability or my spells. Like I should. You can go to spells and then use the one you want. If you can go click back. the name of it. So it should be in his. Okay, and then submit. Yep. Submit, right? Yep. Shit. I don't remember what level I have it to. It tells well, me look, pass I, at what level. On it. Huh? Hold on, I'm coming. Well, what do you click? It should be set to the minimum level that you can cast it at. And you can set it to a higher level. If yeah, but... Like, well, no, let me... If he, okay, so... it's No matter what, the minimum level is what you cast against base. A higher level requires generally a higher spell slot. I think maybe there's something for always extra, extra spell slot. I'll get that. Okay. So just cast that minimum level. So it level. lets me go all the way up to nine. Well, you okay. Can't, oh. You don't have ninth level slots. If you look at your spells, the highest you can cast is fifth. Oh. And you only have one fifth level slot. Oh, okay. So it has to be level one. If you're going from. Okay. And make sure to keep track of how many spell slots you've used. Where does it show me? Okay, spell bar, slots remaining. All right, I see that. Never mind. Stupid. And then it's called I don't lightning. know amount of turns or. I don't know if you can call lightning inside a building. Why not? I'm not sure if it's this one or if it was something else that required you to have clear vision of the sky. A point in the air where a storm cloud could appear. Okay. You're indoors, so uh, you want high or low? <laughs> Zach, do you want high or low? What do you mean high or low? Do you want high or do you want low? He's, he's I'm gonna going to go with high. Okay. He's flipping a coin. The the room, as most dwarven construction is, is actually large and cavernous. And a cloud appears at the top of the room. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now designate the people you want to hit. <laughs> Otherwise, it will hit anyone. So I'm pretty sure that's one of the things you have to designate. Alright, how do I do that? Oh, but you, don't to do that. You, you tell us. Who are you hitting? Uh, do I just say? Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. Uh, the guy. All right. I forget his name. You guys were calling him, but the guy in front of Titus. And yeah, you could guy, have, is that an enemy too? If you hold okay. down left click, you can, uh, you can do what Andre's doing where you ping them. Yep, yeah, ping. And that guy. And I think. I'm going to let me ping this. I'm going to let me ping. The guy above him. Is that a bad guy? No, this is a good guy. Oh, okay. I so guess him, just for now, I'm just going to hit her, this. Him and him are all bad. Um, it's only one point, Andre. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just telling them they're all bad. Yeah. All right, well, I'll hit the two up top, the, that girl and him. I think it can only hit one target yeah, per it's, turn. It's a, it's a one. So maybe the cloud is up. And each turn, as long as the cloud is still there, you can pick someone and it'll strike lightning on them. And then each creature within five feet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that, that's an area of effect that you can't. Can you designate people not to get hit by it? I thought it was that's this each. one, but it, yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm also shooting. So <clears throat> that's fine. <laughs> so who are you hitting? <laughs> pick a target. Uh, I, it won't let me. I'm hitting right. I'm hitting Left. right. Thing it just let me pay. Hold there left we go. Click. <laughs> Green one. All right, you're hitting him. Him. So Gansuk, Titus, and Sylvia also have to make deck saves with my bonus. And it was well, my shit. bonus sucks. I'm getting hit with that damage. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting hit with that damage. Oh, oh. oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> Gansuk. Oh. Oh, not his advantage. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. He saves. <laughs> For half damage. Yep. Roll your... Oh, no. Roll uh, first. It's, it's 21. 21. You already have 21. Mm -hmm. Ouch. 
<laughs> so how, many, how do I tell how many action points I have left so I can keep going? Or am you I can, done? You can do one action, one movement, and one bonus action. But bonus actions are like minor little things, like switching weapons or drinking a healing potion. Yeah, still so So basically I can't do anything else for attacking or anything? Yep, you have yeah. one attack. If you have a bonus action okay. ability, but it can't be a spell. It could be a cantrip. Well, unless well, the spell says bonus action. Certain. When it comes to spell casting, if you cast a leveled spell, you can still cast a cantrip. But otherwise, you could make a melee attack and then use a. If a spell is only a bonus action, like say healing word, where you just have to speak the word and the spell activates, you could still make a melee attack as an action. So essentially, I, I don't know if you have anything that's bonus actions. Oh, that's a full action. So basically you have move. I have no counter trap, so I can just pretty much move. Pretty much. If you want. Just remember, you don't have gear like us yet, so you're probably not going to be able to stand up to all the big hits. You can hardly stand up to them as it is. I forgot Q-Kin can move. Damn it! I forgot it's on my turn. <laughs> uh. Alright, there you go. I end my turn. Here. I don't know how I end my turn. Yep, you just tell the DM. You're like, yep, I'm done. Okay. In response to getting Sorry, hit by I the lightning. Sorry, I think there's like buttons to hit. <laughs> uh, it's all right. In response to getting hit by the lightning, though, Sir Ismark seems very annoyed. And so he pulls Titus close to him and bites down. Woo! <laughs> Wait, did I accidentally do this? No! Point? Bad, oh, Titus. Bad! I feel Titus. <laughs> Titus, you take 10 piercing and 10 necrotic. 15 damage. <sighs> And your maximum hit points is dropped by the amount of damage you took. <laughs> how, much, how much health do they got left? Because you guys are beating right up. I know already. I mean, you can, uh oh, like use your perception to kind of tell how bit, how bad, uh, beat up they are. But bad. Never know. Well, if you're paying attention, so the people here, here, and here are bad. Yes. But, but our friends <laughs> are no longer friends. <laughs> So these dwarves with hammers are the guards then? Yes, the dwarves are still dwarven guards. Did Tyler ever pick up his female dragonborn? No, she's still back at the room. She's uh, just been with, with my true blade. <laughs> that, that's just supposed to be pretty awkward for them since they can't talk to each other. Unless your true blade is trying to teach her common. Nope. <laughs> I just told hey. them to pretty much guard. Let's do the... Let's do the GM, so I think I accidentally, when I was messing my stuff, cast, it looks like I actually cast Sacred Flame or something. I mean, you tried to cast Sacred Flame twice. Yeah, I, I didn't know I did that. Well, what are you doing, Brian? So I was supposed to tell us that. Guys. Bad guy. I'm a bad guy. He's right? asking your help. Oh, Idiot. mine? Sorry, 18. <laughs> and don't Oof. forget your health total dropped. Mm-hmm. It's him, word. I just... I didn't hit him for a second level. No, I... Bah. So that's an example of a bonus action spell. Beck still has his action, his standard action. So he could make an attack or a cantrip. Take the flame. And this guy right here. He saves. That your turn? Instead of hit him. The guards continue to try and take out the enemy guards, but... They just, they do not have the means or the skill. Oh. Ismark pulls his face away from Titus. Looks him in the eye. <laughs> you don't want to sign the vintage. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate your honesty. And then he runs his great sword through your gut. No! You take 16 slashing damage. Are you still up? Yep. He twists it. <laughs> Ouch. For another 19 slashing damage. That puts me down. He then pulls the blade out of Titus, looks over at the Tempest Cleric. Oh god. Uh, you didn't have to get involved, but you've made your choice. Did he <laughs> teleport over there or did he just walk over there? He ran really fast. Then everyone. Oh, okay. The Lord who can't has got Sook. Sylvia's down. Yeah, oh. Sylvia's down. 
Gun two clans to blow. Nonetheless. This guy. Yeah. He's the yak folk. Nonetheless, Sir Ismark suddenly sprints as quick as the eye can see over to Alakon. And he attempts to slash out at him. But he misjudged where the pillar was and hits the pillar. <laughs> well, that's me. <laughs> I love you, Bill. <laughs> this guard raises his gun and fires at one of the dwarves. Another oh, that's dwarf. A bad guy too? Oh shit! Another dwarf is blown away. Oof! The Templar that was standing next to Alucard, seeing his chance, engages the vampire. But is he smart enough to flank him? No. <laughs> but he's a from the Templar. <laughs> I thought I'd have to prep that before. I guess it doesn't. Oh, he doesn't have a sword. He has a flail. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls the flail out and proceeds to start trying to maul this vampire. Oh! Uh, what the? Holy crap! Um, damn. He's a nice fan girl over there. <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and he has two attacks. <laughs> oh. Nonetheless, the Templar proceeds to start hitting, and while the, his heavy plate armor might turn aside the blow of a blade, the flail simply sends a shockwave through him, and you see him get jostled around and bent over, and he coughs up blood even momentarily. Oh, there's still more guards. <laughs> <laughs> he actually hit! No! Wouldn't he also have advantage? Oh, he... oh yeah, he would have had advantage. Regardless, he hits him. Dealing six damage. No! Yeah. The enemy guard is still standing. <laughs> Dog cat. What? Okay. As you approach, Ismark kind of half grins, half sneers at you. You too, Norskin. I... So be it. You hit him with Hex. You hit him again with Hex. <laughs> uh, oh, it did more damage than me heal. Hold on. <clears throat> I will actually use my second win to get back. Uh, one d10. And then I will take my stance. Ali attempts to stabilize Titus. Rock my boat as Titus. <laughs> Oops. I mean, she's not doing a whole lot to help. She's trying to stop the bleeding at least. She doesn't have a medicine check, so it's not very good. So, question: If he if he gets healed, can he get back up? Or yeah, mm -hmm. I'll take care of it. The fight continues between the Tsarina and the sister of Ismark. She appears to land two more blows upon the Zarina. Xenophia. I have to use that on Sylvia. And so is her getting back up her action, or is she? does she have an action then? She has an action, because standing up is just movement. She's going to hit the vampire, or, or try to. Yeah. Once again, Sir Ismark. The bolt strikes true. Darn right it does. <laughs> Now he's going to start glowing. So Ismark glows with a bright, radiant sheen. He seems upset by this. Oh, he's totally sparkles. ruins my color scheme. Oh, God, he's one of them sparkly vampires. Yeah. His life must be horrible. Yeah, that's my turn. The Tsarina fights on. She continues to hammer blow after blow, but the sister does not go down, and she does not relent. That guard takes his chance, brings up his gun, and fires at Etsley. Boy, better not. Bye. What is your current armor class again? 20? 20. Your breastplate protects you, though you feel the force of the blow almost knock you off your feet. Mm -hmm. Which one was that? The one you killed. That one. Oh, he's dead. Sarah gets behind a pillow. No! QQ was gonna take! This guard continues to try and fight. She, she, she always go to this pillar. 
Oh. Or that pillar. That pillar. The guard manages to hit and stabs him again. But he's still standing. It's Lee. I'm going to kill you. And I'm going to shoot this one right here. Do I do the sharpshooter? Yeah, let's do it. It's your best t-shirt. Damn it. 12. Do you want high or low? Mm. Let's go low. You hit the wall. Okay. Second shot. I'm seeing if your misses high or low hit the dwarves. Oh. Well, that's... I'm going to go high, but... But I am going to use... Can I use my curving my curving arrow with my guns? So, I mean, it is. It's what my magic arrows does. Yeah, as long as it's an ability of your class. It is. Uh, I learned to direct an errant bullet towards a new target. So I'm curving the bullet. Yeah, you curve the bullet. Hey, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to curve it towards that guy. I want to watch the one too much. <laughs> Do you have to roll a new hit or? Uh, ye- let me, uh, curving arrow. Uh, make, you make an attack roll with a magic arrow and miss. You can use a bonus action to, yep, yeah, re-roll the attack. Curve the bullet. Come on, crit. Yeah. Fort. <laughs> yeah, Misses them both. You want high or low? Let's go high. You hit one of the dwarves. Roll damage. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> You're gonna kill a dwarf now. Oh wait, that, I have to add my um, sharpshooter uh, to it too. Yep. Uh, yeah, not bad. You blow one of the dwarven guards away. Yeah. <laughs> Calculated risk. Is that your turn? You were meant to destroy the dark side, not join it. <laughs> hey, I'm still racking up a kill count. Is that your turn? Uh, I'm going to move. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to move here. That's my turn. All right. So something that I forgot to bring up that Sam and I discussed that we think would be a good idea is when you make your death save, make it private only to the DM so that other players don't know how many saves you're at. Or yourself. No, you you will still make the roll individually. You'll know what you're at. But other players, so that other players can't determine how close you are to death. How do you send it just to the DM? You click on 2GM. You have a toggle at the top of your sheet. It says public, public. Term, 2 GM. DM. When you have it set to 2GM, all, all your rules will only be seen by the Game Master. Oh, okay. So it's public, which we currently all have. Yep. That's how we see everything. Yeah, just, okay. just for the sake of death saves, so that people, so that things are a little more suspenseful for everyone else. Oh, yeah. But yes, Titus is on the ground. Bleeding. Wait, wait, wait. QQ QQ'd exists. Oh, yep, you're right. QQ. QQ. She will make her presence known. Dang. Dang. <laughs> she will take cover behind this pillar. And she will shoot the lady. Oh, hey, Joe. Is this pillar? I just realized there's a pillar right there. There is a pillar. I'm... <laughs> Misfire. Does, does that give them any sort of cover? Um, not particularly. That's pretty thin. Probably QQ is actually the whole comedic relief. You die. You better hope your gun doesn't actually, like, explode, explode. What do I roll for that? I need to pull up my misfire chart. (laughs) (laughs) Why, QQ? Dead again. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Murdered. And it'll be because of Titus again. Leave you dead. You killed. Leave you dead. How how was that? That wrong. That she wants got. to fight by my side. Only she wasn't so bad. bad for her. Her. Roll a d20. Want to do? Okay. No, nope, that's a d12. Ah, uh, d20. <laughs> Not much better. <laughs> With a bit of smoke and sizzling, the charge in the breach ignites, but the main charge does not. You'll have to reload again before you can fire. Okay. I'm gonna te- have to teach her how to use gun. So, you shot, but the bullet didn't go, and you, but you still have to reload. Fire. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> Sarah kind of looks behind her. Isn't that a ledge? She could... Yeah, there is a ledge there. Tiny. She's a small creature. 
Yeah, which should make it harder for her to climb a ledge. Oh, she's okay. Yeah, let's see. yeah. Let's see. She was right here. Five ten. Uh, double movement. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty five. Ten thirty. Or actually, if I climbed it here, then I can make it down here. There we go. The guards continue their assault. <laughs> and fail. <laughs> continue to fail. Gansuk turns to aid the Sarina. But not very well. You'd think he'd be smart enough to fly. Gansuk? No. He's an accomplished war master, is he not? He holds an impressive title? Yeah. I suppose it's probably more about running them through with overwhelming force, though. Yes. This orb that is just land his blow. Extreme <laughs> 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 for tap. These dwarves. You just stole your kill. That's right. <laughs> Alucard. <laughs> Is it, is, it, is it a bonus action for your lightning storm now? Uh, it is a concentration one of up to ten minutes. I think it's still an action to call the lightning each turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's up there, he just has to use an action. What a recommended though. You can use your action to call that one. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you can take the disengage if you don't want to get attacked and move away from him. He's a part of chasing down anyways. I will summon a celestial. Okay. So, so, so yes. the second concentration. Yeah. You can only have one concentration spell up. You can only, only concentrate on one thing. So you'd have to relinquish the call oh. lightning. Yeah, probably doesn't have a golden reliquary though. <clears throat> Unless you want to say he has something like that. So he was best, but... I'll say that he has that. If he chooses to use it. <laughs> you want to give up the call lightning or... No, I'll do something else. Uh, so, when it says concentration, that's what I can't use right now, something? If, if a spell requires concentration, you can only concentrate on one spell. So if you choose a different concentration spell, you have to stop concentrating on the last one you were doing. Okay. Well, where do I see if it's a concentrating spell? My question. It'll tell you during the end of the duration. Duration. Concentration <laughs> up to. Yeah, duration. Oh, instantaneous or con- okay. That is... Okay. I'm going to first move before I do anything. If you don't disengage, he'll get to attack you. And if you use disengage, you use your action. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, damn. That's about how I <laughs> felt when I first started playing that. <laughs> you do have some melee attacks you can use. You are a storm player. I don't know. Or tempest player. I have an idea, but I gotta make sure this doesn't hurt me. Okay. This could go really bad or really good. I'm just saying that's how bad yeah, yeah. things are. <laughs> well, this did for okay. So it has duration. For example, it says like eight hours. That count as concentration then? If it doesn't say concentration, then no. Oh, okay. Fuck it. I will do this. And then can I just put that like right on me? Pretty much. An unoccupied space. Okay. Well, to my left, then between me and Sam. Yeah. Like right there. I will do that. And then can I move now? Uh, you'll still he'll still get to make his attack against you. If I move? Yeah, if you move away without using the disengage action, they get to attack you. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm just staying there. Then I, <laughs> I don't see anywhere how I... How do I even... I don't think I can do after I cast that. I don't think I can do a melee attack, can I? Is it an action? Yeah, an action. Then no. Oh, yeah. That's okay, then, I'm, then I guess I end my turn. All right. Let's ever play D&D, Ryan. So did he cast a uh, summon Celestial? No, you did Guardian of Fate. No, Guardian of Fate. Oh. That's an action. So, let me tell you, Zach, if he's not moving right now, you can't take damage to that thing. Oh, good. Fuck. <laughs> well, he has to move to attack me, doesn't he? No, you're standing right next to him. Yeah, but he's moving his body. <laughs> but he's... <laughs> I'm just saying. It could be argued. He's moving. Not be argued against the current rules of the game. I don't know what else to use, so I'm going to use this. Boop. Oh, God. 
It's celestial blue! <laughs> it's a blue flame! <laughs> Uh, That's not what came into sure? my mind first. No, same. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, That's there you go. go. That's more of That's why. That's fine. Lines in here? It's better than the blue turd. You know what else I can do? Green? <laughs> Kobold. We have a kobold. Yeah. I can't see it. Put it no! <laughs> Put it away. I can't see it. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah. Yes! <laughs> Nothing out of here. Oh god, your poor neighbors. I, mean, I like I like QQ's artwork. So animate oh. that. And <laughs> I love it. Again. <laughs> but anyways, so that is your turn. Back. Okay down she's injured i am cool it's yes and that's the only word myself i just mean that's her name up here I'm sure there's some other damaged people too um uh, i get max because i'm down right yeah so max should be seven you're doing it on the zarina as well he's injured i think that would be ali and edsley i mean yeah i could i could use some some healing. You got kisses coming your way. Hey, she's <laughs> hot. Yeah, I could have yeah. used some kisses earlier, but I wasn't getting any kisses earlier, so I'll take some healing now. How much do I get? Four. Four? No, no. That does some. Where's. Anything else, Beck? This is not an action. That was this opponent's action. Yeah, I'm asking. What else? Thinking. Alright, get some with the with my sacred slain. She saves. Damn. Jesus. Up here. Might as well the stairs, right? Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. You end your turn? Yep. Guard tries to go after the remaining enemy guard. These dwarven guards are doing pretty well. The other guard goes down. <laughs> nice. Guard on guard catastrophe. And the dwarves came out on top. It's like oh, uh, quite annoyed. One guard, one two, actually. And he's still very annoyed, specifically at Hollow Card. Kill him. <laughs> Reaches out and grabs him. Now with that, I activate my stuff. Uh, does it? It's if the it's if an attack happens on somebody else, right? Yep. Grappling is an attack action. Okay. But you have advantage because he's glowy. You do. Yeah. Didn't man. Both miss. <laughs> he then proceeds to bite. And now he's not glowy. Alucard takes 9 piercing and 15 necrotic. Come on. Damn. Trying to kill him on his first session? He's got more health than that. He's good. Yeah. He took 24 damage that can pull. Do I change that manually or? In a little green square. So I just subtract that off of you? Okay. So it's a common share? 24. So I'm down to 45. Right. Templar is not having any more of this. Waits back. <laughs> As he continues to just beat on Sir Ismark's back. This guard. Runs to the aid of the Tsarina. Not close. He goes up to try and spear her, but misses. So in response, the sister turns and literally just grabs him and rips out his throat. Ooh. Nice. Then I can't heal. <laughs> Thorkel. Oh, that's her. I'm horrible. Oh! Oh, he finally hit something. Oh, whoa, well, well, hang on. Uh, I was hitting her earlier. I, yeah, Tyler. No. Sorry, I was napping. It's only 20 minutes between each of my turns, so. <laughs> <laughs> the second blow misses, though. I feel you. I'll ask in church. You hit once more. And. Ba-doop. But finally, he gets tired of your attacks. And he raises a gauntlet and blocks. And of course I shall take my stance. 
Ellie continues to try to help Titus. Oh wait, Titus is up. Titus, <laughs> and he thinks Ellie healed him. She's not sure what to do. She can't quite get at anyone now. She can pick, you up. pick me up and move forward. Pick you up and throw oh. you. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> this lady, somewhat annoyed. People are interfering with this fight. So, she pulls out a pistol and aims it right at Beck. <laughs> dodge, Beck, dodge. She shoots you point blank for 13 damage. <laughs> Even so, she continues to stab out with the rapier at the Zarina. However, she's not as focused on the Zarina, so she's able to parry and block. Zenafia. What is Titus HP? He's only at like four. I'm at right? seven. Yeah. I will not become another giant bug. I won't turn you into a giant bug. I appreciate that. And you giant. I'll turn you into something else. <laughs> no! <laughs> Titus becomes a tiny bug. <laughs> I, I was thinking more like mammoth, but you know, that works too. I'll climb into your shoe and bite your foot, I swear to God! A mammoth would be good. I could get a nice tusk from that. Uh-huh. Why not a dragon? So that's for Titus. Thank you. Thank you. Would, would the tusk just turn into one of Titus' teeth after he turns back? So <laughs> that he'd be form? missing a tooth? Like half a I think the moment he cuts it off, it would turn back. <laughs> I mean, well, I've gathered so many teeth so and you know, bangs so Guiding bolt! You hit him. Mother 17! This is sparkle again! Wait, what's with the blue flame right here? Oh, is that where that he summoned that? Never mind. I know what that is. That's the wow, that's the old pool. No, I know, but like, I didn't know why it was there. <laughs> The poo! That's where the special poo mm. and poo up. <laughs> the guiding bolt strikes him, and you see him seemingly fall down to his knees, coughing blood. And then he just kind of looks around at everyone, glaring. And then he looks over his shoulder, makes eye contact with Titus, and suddenly he becomes nothing. Did it become <laughs> nothing? And it makes that yeah. sound. Daddy, come back. You can blame it all on me. <laughs> Just stop, Honor. No. No. Anything else? Does Harina fights on? Huh? Damn. She fights for the life of the fallen. Hey, Andrew, because he bit you, are you going to become a... Are you going to become a... Honor, are you going to become a vampire now that he bit no, you? No. Vampiric would be considered a disease, in my opinion. So, no. I'm He's gonna... not. That is not. The sister starts to look annoyed. She's dead. No, well, then I don't know. I'm not sure one has to be willing to be turned into a vampire or not. I don't know about vampires. We never talked to that French lady about it. I think you have to like, don't you have to drain all of their blood to be a vampire? Are you asking for in-game knowledge? Yeah, well, okay. So different movies have different lores for vampires. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> History! <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know why I would know anything about that. Oh, oh, so much I got better put on my glasses. Etsy, make a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> can I just choose to fail? Yeah, you can absolutely choose to fail. Oh, You're I within fail. range of me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I see her coming in. I'm just like, yeah, okay. She doesn't think you helped so bad though. So, so. You go. Yeah, four, right? <laughs> oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's your go, Etsy. She doesn't want to get, you know, used to that. But also, it's a take, douche girl. It takes an act for you. Uh, and he died. Well, well fine. I doubt he died. I'm gonna shoot her. Now it's a... Oh, do I want to use the sharpshooter? I haven't been having luck. No, I feel I want to use it. <laughs> Why not? I'm, I'm not there. Uh, that doesn't matter. It matters to me. I'm gonna sharpshooter it. Okay, hit. Uh, you want high or low? Uh, I. Oh, medium. 
Roll a d6. I mean, it's a d6. I can't go to that rock. <laughs> you hit back. Yeah. <laughs> it was a risk. You want me to roll damage? Roll the damage. Okay. Sorry, Beck. Ouch. It's nothing personal. But here's 20. I'm pretty sure it feels personal. Oh, <laughs> 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 that actually lets loose a shot. I didn't mean it. I I to be serve the bullet. Oh, damn it. Only if I choose another target, but I've already rolled the damage, so no. Well, second shot. <laughs> that just falls down. That's a dang it. Try again. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you want higher low? <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby girl. You hit the throne behind the target. Okay. Well, bonus action. <laughs> Finally hit. Yes. This is vampires. <laughs> oh darn! I've been closing the wrong eye this whole time. <laughs> yep. Been using my left eye. It's my bad eye. I'm sorry. Is that like so Ellie? So, 24 damage to that one. The bullet goes straight into her, but uh, she doesn't like flinch from it. She just kind of suddenly like realizes that there's a hole and it checks. Blood. She looks over her shoulder, points at you. I wink. I it. Okay, so, um, hmm, 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 Still pretty badly hurt, though. Still pretty badly hurt. Still pretty badly hurt. So... Why well, is Great Weapon Master attached to everything? If you have it on. I just... <laughs> All right, so, 12. Let's see, at 38. Mm -mm. Don't have an attack available for this. Rubles past everyone. Yeah, they end. Q Q on. Q Q. Oh, what are other bits still in? Higher. Darn. Hi. You want higher low? Hi. Hi. She misses entirely and hits the back wall. She's figuring it out. She's figuring it out. Then she'll go back in. Uh. Uh, then I guess it was everything we got. <laughs> That's your turn? Yep. Ah, oh, I didn't do what I was originally meaning to do. Oh well. Dead. Gun Sook continues to fight. With advantage now? No, because Beck is down. Oh, he's down. Okay. I didn't realize that. My bad. But he misses. Scarred rushes forward. He dies immediately. I mean, she's not having it. She turns around and stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> that guard kind of double thinks. Think th thinks twice before. What the heck is that? Pretty sure that's Celestial. I'm not sure. He, he didn't summon Celestial, he summoned some of the Guardian of Faith, and it kind of just acts like a sentry. Then I don't know what that is. Looks like a very <laughs> handsome man. <coughs> that's a woman. woman. That's woman. A very that's handsome boob. woman. That's a very handsome woman. And again, boobs do not mean it's a woman. So, I'm sorry very I gendered it. Big. Yeah, I mean, look at Sam and... Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Don't be talking there. <laughs> the shot's fired. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I am a gunslinger now. Yeah, no, nope. I'm sorry, Salmon. No, sorry. you're not. Nope. I'm not. <laughs> it's a very handsome woman. With a fang. With the goddamn fang. If you go get his big sister. <laughs> ah, damn. She's so goddamn cool. <laughs> uh, Thorkel, make a perception roll with advantage. How? <clears throat> Notice a giant lady walk in. How? I can barely see her. I have a pillar. Yeah, this is what you hear. Okay. And uh, I guess uh, Titus might actually as well. Normal though? Do you have anything nine for hearing? I mean, I guess I just see her. Be louder. I hear normally. Normally. <laughs> then advantage. Oh, it's you. I'm oh, so. Okay. Orkel hears it clearly. 
It is something that's rather, rather familiar. You hear a Norskin war cry. <laughs> I like it. Why is she so much bigger than you? <laughs> <You're a child>. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. You said you had children. You had not pet them. And you had lain with the beast woman. So therefore they would be bigger than you. Not and she had the fang. This one. Well, if it was your child. It most certainly isn't. <laughs> I mean, there are ghosts in well, a little bit. Unless Joe changed pictures. Since it's still active, I think I'm just gonna. No! Do not! Do not! Do not! Do not! I just did it! Do it, do it, do it. No, yeah. wait. Change your mind, because you'll have all of us, not just her. <laughs> Oh, so why'd you get in the way? The roll was already made. <laughs> Lightning strike, deck fades. No! Deck auto fails. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I'm down. Yeah, yeah. Take, you yeah, take so hit by electrical. You, yeah, you take two fails automatically, because he called the lightning strike. <laughs> there are the teeth, so I beat it, but they count. And oh. Godzook and one, and uh, Evelyn will get my bonus as well, plus more. I actually die here. I have my archer already. So I'm taking one. So you said plus four? Yeah. <laughs> Zach, if you're the reason that Beck dies on your first time <laughs> playing, you will you will be <laughs> having to atone the rest of the session. Well, Gansuk should pass. <laughs> Evelyn will not. Anything else? Uh, well, anyone else you want to kill on your first time? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why? Oh, man. I just didn't have to cast it again. I figured I'd use it since it's already active. It's okay. If he kills me, I kill him. <laughs> Remember back when you make your death save, I can keep my bone wall. <laughs> but I would say if he kills me, Sarah will kill him. <laughs> so I'm assuming an action is obviously if I go to heal, it's an action, right? Then yep. you already used an action. So it says casting like... time, one bonus action. Oh, then it's a bonus action. Okay, then I can do it. Yeah, because you used your action to call lightning, so you still have a bonus action. Who are you picking as targets? Uh, everyone where I just lightning. <laughs> Except the bad guy. So you're including back in that? No. Yeah. Or yeah, yes. back. But wait, not the. Not the everyone bad guy. The everyone but the bad guy. All right, so Becca's actually back up. <laughs> <laughs> Saved. You're all good. Get the fuck out, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, this is what I was worried about. Pulse lightning. Another... Pulse lightning. Hit the <laughs> Oh, I'll... here's some heal. You're in the way. I was gonna say, is anybody else? Wait, you're me with me, Andre. No, but <laughs> I was afraid this might be another Evan situation. Is that your turn? Well, Evan wouldn't heal you afterwards. <laughs> he would have just left. I was gonna say, who else is getting those heals? Because he only chose four targets. Only I guess I could get the whole process up to Tyler. <laughs> yeah, no, I was gonna you say can say choose two more if you desire. Heal the paladin. Yeah, I'll heal her, everyone in the party. Her, him, him, me, him. Yeah, also Zenafia. Wait, can I choose myself? Too? Yeah, you can choose yourself. Yeah. I don't know where he's targeting, but I'm just doing it. So you still have one more person you could pick. Oh. Well, I'm going to for the extra, the extra few <laughs> slot, me, and then, uh, I don't really need another healer. I mean, I'm good. Oh, yeah, it's me. I don't know how Allie's doing, or... Sylvia, uh, uh, Zanathia, Sarah's Thor, fine. Thor Kell is standing next to you. I he is? Would. Oh, there he is, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to assign that right if you want to. Me and Thor Kell, I guess. Thor Kell gains six. Sure. And you gain six as well. Right, Beck, you regain consciousness. But you feel a little uh, jittery and twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know why. He was unconscious. He got struck by lightning while unconscious. He has no idea. <laughs> it resuscitated him. He can't be mad. <laughs> God. Magic CPR. 
Fuck! Magic defibrillator. <laughs> Magic defibrillator. <laughs> Clear! No. <laughs> eight more healing to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what, eight? Yep, eight healing. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit her with my hammer. Behold! My hammer! Whack! A few times he uses it. Roll your damage. Roll oh, damage! Behold the extra... Yeah, it's a D8 for your extra radiant. Ooh, can I suggest everyone move away from said person? <laughs> yeah, but you could, but whether they listen? Most likely not. Yeah. See, then it's not on my conscience anymore. We're, we're a party full of idiots. It wouldn't make a lot of sense for us all to move away for you to be the only one to do damage. Logically speaking. You just, you just need to get a tank who wants to get hit. Yeah. We'll just do verbal abuse, bro. That's the thing. Just yell at her. We don't have a bard in the party. <laughs> we used to. Be such a dick. Made the rations I gave the alley taste like shit. So I can't wait. it myself. Is that your turn, Beck? I don't want to get hit. It's hard to you. Oh, move. Oh, you know what I should have did? I should have just reanimated Puckin Beck and just became my minion. He wasn't dead yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, she yeah. hits you. Not get dead battlefront. You take 13 piercing damage and she stabs out at you. <laughs> Gotta get away. Ah! Wait, hold on. <laughs> you can't kill me! <laughs> <laughs> she shoots you. No, I'm sorry. Esley shoots you again. I'm at one! <laughs> 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 just rats away with one hit point, <laughs> bleeding profusely. <laughs> no, 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 I survived. Uh, uh, it's it. not as bad as his drunken monk, running a hundred feet away and then coming back just to punch you once, and then running another hundred feet back. Very true. I'm taking him back. <laughs> this guard is struck dumb by the sudden giant lady that ran into the room. The Templar turns as if to face the remaining vampire, but then catches the sight, the giant lady in the room, and suddenly kneels in her direction. She went tap! Thorkal! I'm, I'm gonna need her autograph. Uh, Find my armor? <laughs> what do I want to do? I'm torn. The decision of Torncal. <laughs> does he go and aid in the combat, or does he say hi to the big lady? <laughs> big lady. <laughs> yeah. How how difficult would it be to get over these guys? So there's now literally how many bodies there? <laughs> Three <They're> dwarves. <laughs> Three dwarves all stacked on each other. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so it'd be it's difficult to right now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Team. Just call out uh, your giant act. Oh, hey, no, I'd be actually be able to make it. Okay. Only because of my boots. I have advantage. Which was meant for walking. You do. Or no. No. Oh, yeah, you do, because Gunsu. I was looking at the wrong angle. Okay, good. Yes. You miss. But then you hit. The <laughs> dick. Do you have any movement left? No. Damn. Build a fighter. My light. Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Ah! Ali moves up to try and engage. She should have a bit. Hit. Right. Oh, you're right. So attack number one. <laughs> she manages to hit both times. Yeah. This vampire is not looking so good anymore. She's covered in cuts and blows. Cuts from dead dwarves. <laughs> she looks at all of you and says, You will not forget this. And then suddenly she dissipates into nothingness. Wait. Well, boy, have you learned your lesson yet? Let's say I did. You did a dumb, Titus. You did a dumb. And as you finish recovering from the fight, I'll tell Beck to revive person if his soul is willing with one of those diamonds. Also, as all that finishes, you see... I can't, I can't do any damage. 
dead anymore. Or he's dead. He is She's a, a very large lady. Come up. When she gets there and sees that you're all just standing around not fighting, she pulls out a massive axe and strikes at the ground, leaving a huge crack in the floor. And you hear her swear an oath in Norskin. Oh, hi. Uh, or Kel and I understand it? Yes, you do. Basically, she's she's cussing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Norskin oath. <laughs> so I, I still say, uh, hi. We'll be sure to save you some next time. She just kind of looks grumpy, turns over to Zenafia, looks down. Hello, can I help you? Or kill Phil's ball. <laughs> Don't kill him. Yeah. I could say the same to you. You know, we're in a dwarven city. You are clearly not dwarven. Your point being? Okay, let's start over. Hi, I am Zenafia. Who are you? I am Sister Runa of the Templars. How and when did you get here? The, uh, the other Templar stops kneeling finally and goes and stands next to her. Because you know, like, a few, was it a few days ago or like a week ago, there was a demon right where you were standing? Actually, I think that was like two days ago. We could have used your help. It was more than two days ago. Oh, we were fine. We won. Did you die? Nobody died. Uh, At least nobody important died. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the entire political system of this Cathar is destroyed. And no one has. I'm sorry, but they were doing <laughs> a the last job. The last of guy political. of running the place just got ran through with a hand. Like I said, he was fit. Nobody important died. Nonetheless, Runa says that uh, my force only got here earlier this morning. Oh, are you here to help with the problem outside? So now they have an army. Word has made it back to the Empire that our ancient allies with the dwarves seek aid. We were the fastest force that could be sent. And uh, assuming you arrived when driving the enemy before you? No, we used teleportation magic. Uh, that was my second <laughs> guess. <laughs> we are but a handful here. It's okay. We only have a handful of problems. <laughs> and she points to Alucard. That is the priest that wanted to come with us to see what was happening in the Skassar. <laughs> well, he's been, air quotes, uh, help. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> he calls the lightning, does he not? He calls the lightning. Meh. I'll call him out. <laughs> Spirit of shit. You see two more heavily armored figures <clears throat> stroll in. God damn, how many Imperial sleuths do I have to make today? As they do, they see Sister Runa and they kneel before her and she just kind of sighs heavily and waves <laughs> off at them. <laughs> Imperial etiquette. Idiots. <laughs> uh, they're not idiots. They're just obsessed with their doing the right thing, formal address. So, idiots. <laughs> Let me care for what you are saying, little lizard boy. Counts you, boy. I stick out my tongue and do that. <laughs> <laughs> she bares her teeth at you and growls. I bear back. Oh my god. Oh, okay. hey, all right. So before this goes any further, <laughs> is there more of your force arriving? Well, well, what the? <laughs> oh my Why am I so big? Oh god. I want to be big. <laughs> no. Or he'll feel no. small. <laughs> you are really small. It Shut up! Really, it is really odd. Like, you, you recall there being tales of what what is known as, like, the highest of the Templar Order. And people often would talk about how they were larger than life and things like that. It, it was just kind of assumed it was a turn of phrase. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
But, uh, That's there, there's literally something going on here, and you have no idea. I mean, actually, uh, Titus, you want high or low? I'll say him low. All right. He'll take from 25 to 75. Okay. <laughs> Damn. You, uh, you feel a very odd... You don't know how else to describe it other than kinship, almost. Oh. oh my gosh, she's your big sister. Uh. <laughs> Great, there's another one. And as the other one enters <laughs> the room, she like very quickly locks eyes with her eyes. Uh, her eyes are shiny gold? They are. And she seems like almost like she glows with an unearthly light. But girl, are back off. Are we kin? I mean, you feel some unnatural. I asked that aloud. Oh, you asked that aloud? Yeah. Sorry, perhaps I should not speak of that to you. The other step aside as she comes forward. She looks down at you. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe that you might be what we would call a little cousin. Little. <laughs> You see Ruina sigh even heavier. Uh, uh, I would ask you to explain further, but perhaps this is not the best time. The present is the only time. Well, you see, when two people love each other very much. Now take a lap. I've um, seen the cows. <laughs> I know what it's all about. Uh, we already had that session just quite a while ago. <laughs> But no, uh, she has. She pointed well, out the, the the only time is the present. You that, are an Asimov, am I not wrong? It is a secret that I have kept most of my life, but not much a secret. I suppose I feel compelled to tell you the truth. I am. Her eyes kind of twinkle a little bit. She smiles. I can tell. She's a giant Asimov. Sparkly. Could you answer another question, perhaps? Ask away. For years, my parents hid me away, afraid of what might become of me. But if I was to be revealed, and yet they told me I was destined for great things. That it meant something, but I did not feel as it should does. What am I to believe? <laughs> she uh, she kneels down to get like at eye level <laughs> with you. No. Hello. Uh -oh. You most abs- or no, no, you're way up on the stairs, so you oh, are at eye level with her. <laughs> but she says, there is greatness destined for you, for any of our kind. And she gestures towards all the Templars. <clears throat> and you see all the other Templars make their Imperial salutes, and Runa just- <laughs> No, she doesn't sigh, she just gives like a very blank face. <laughs> Looks over at Thorkel. Mm -hmm. oh. How did you get dragged into this? The boy's father. And then I speak in Norsk and he is my retainer. She has she just looks back and forth between you two and shrugs. I have always admired the Templar Order, though I had not imagined I'd ever see them in action. Very few do. There are oh, very many of us. <laughs> you saw one of them. Might I add then? That's your man over there. The warrior. The, it's the yeah, man. The other Templar that was here to assist us. Yep. They, they performed exceedingly well. I would hope so. It's what we train for. I, yes. I seek strength to protect what I hold dear. Perhaps they are secrets, but I would ask them less. Can I do train? Well, Eddie can train. But do any have the aptitude? If you would allow it, I would like to test my fate against them. You seem, as, you, as we have already stated, that destiny lies on your shoulders. I would absolutely love to recommend you to the Templar mm. Order. You're super giddy right now, guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and I... Or even get this business over so I can ask her with it. Gladly accept. <laughs> what? <laughs> gladly accept. So it's a proposition. She, uh, she holds out a hand to you and says, 
This is not a simple matter. We should find the nearest chapel to prey on this. What? You hear a loud sigh. Runa comes over, kind of leans down next to Thor. Is there a uh, nearby tavern somewhere? They'll need to drink. A lot. Need... Oh, oh, I know where one is. I'll take you. <laughs> you haven't been here. <laughs> you know, and you're technically part of their company. They know you just got here. <laughs> yeah. hey, nice. I it's mean, it's a dwarven blood. city. It can't be harder to find beer, right? No, it's definitely not. <laughs> as as they're talking, Joe, I want to go over to the two dead guards of the people people <laughs> and take their guns. <laughs> He's just gonna walk up to the other Templars and start living the body. And uh, no, uh, uh, the Templars, the evil guard. Yeah, you're walking over by the Templars. You see those two right there? They're right rummage, next to the bodies. You rummage and, through and uh, they both have uh, rifles and short swords. You, and it looks interesting. You don't like, you rifles. don't recognize it, but literally this is actually, they, they found rifling. I'm going to take both their rifles and all the ammo they have. All right. Uh, between the two of them. Hey, can I cast this animate one of them alone? You can. Which one are you uh, going to choose? Back, wait, hold on. You, you're traveling with the Templar. <laughs> this one. Uh, you should. <sighs> I this, I think, says, uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> no. We're making a zombie. Jeez, could you just lose with that one? He's. What? What's wrong with it? It's necromancy. You're, you're raising a zombie? I'm dead. Okay, okay. I'm gonna raise the dwarf guy. No, wait, no. no. Damn. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> <sighs> Just do what you want. Just do what you want to do. Just do what you want. <laughs> Just no actions have You know what? I, I, I feel like the game's gonna make these two bigger ladies kill me. So I'm gonna do it. Try not. <laughs> What what type of ammo do these rifles use? Are they just like same, the flintlock? Same kind. Okay, so how much did I get? Uh, between the two of them, you managed to get two shots. Twenty shots. Okay, and then two flintlock rifles. Two flintlock rifles. Okay. Then can uh, look up at you and ask if she might if she might help her out with the shooting. If you see what she can do and well. Well, you might not always hit the enemy. It's always devastating. So, uh, Titus, specifically you, anyone else who's paying attention, uh, as he's seemingly started to begin the incantation, you notice that uh, this, much the, the Templar that was speaking to you, her facial expression just ever so slightly changed as she looked over at him begin the incantation. <laughs> uh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you about, you, you're about to get one punched. <laughs> but then he stopped and she changed back. <laughs> mm, boy. I, of course. I will go to you with the chapel. I know where one is nearby. Well, that is nearby, but I know where one is. <laughs> Most excellent. Let us be off then. Huh? Then. That's what she and I will do. Is anyone else doing anything specific? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the, uh, market. I wanna see if I can sell one of these rifles to my buddy in the gun shop. But Q Q, you said she you trained her. I said I'd chain her to the guns. She, I don't think she can wield a rifle, can she? I don't know. It's far too big for her. It's yeah, that was, a heavy weapon. I was gonna say that'd be like a cannon. cannon. <laughs> Pass it on a wagon to her. Uh, I will teach her in the ways of the pistol. Okay. But yes, I will go to the right um, rifleman. And I will invite Gansuk and go find the tavern. It's a very good deal. Well, uh, Runa and Gansuk definitely join you at the tavern. Uh, the rest of the Templars follow the other sister, as well as Titus, and everyone else is allowed to do what they want. We'll call it there for the night. 